Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So today let's learn how we can calculate the number of days given the starting day and the ending day of an event. So let's move on to the examples. The first question in class 5 of a school unit test started on 10th June and lasted for 5 days. On which day was the last test held? So what is mentioned in the question? So it says that the unit test for class 5 started on the 10th of June. And how many days the test lasted? The test lasted for 5 days including the 10th of June. So the test started on 10th June and this was day 1 and it lasted for how many more days? It lasted for 4 more days. The day 1 of the exam was on the 10th of June and it lasted for 4 more days and you are asked to find out on which day or which date the last test was held. So how do we find it out? Just add 4 more days to the 10th of June and we will get the final day of the test. So let's see the steps. So the starting date of the test was on the 10th of June. The total duration of the unit test were 5 days. So the last day of the test is equal to the 10th of June plus 4 days which is equal to the 14th of June. So the last test was held on 14th June. So it started on 10th of June then on 11th, 12th, 13th and 14th. 5 days and the test got over on 14th of June. So I hope this is clear to you. Now we'll see the next example. Humera started reading a book on 20th March and finished it on 9th April of the same year. How long did she take to read the book? So here we are asked to find out how many days did Humera take to complete reading a book. So she started reading the book on the 20th of March. And when did she finish reading the book? She finished reading the book on the 9th of April. So we need to find how many days are there from the 20th of March and the 9th of April. So for these kind of questions, you need to know how many days are there for each month. You must have heard the rhyme, 30 days at September, April, June and November. And February has 28 days except in leap year in which February has 29 days. So you can just think of that rhyme to find out the number of days in each month easily. So March is a month which has got 31 days. So from 20th March to 31st March how many days are there? So from the 20th of March to the 31st of March how many days are there? So from 20th March to 31st you will have 12 days and till 9th of April from the beginning of April. So from the 1st of April to the 9th of April how many days are there? There are a total of 9 days. So if you add these two you will get the total number of days in which she took to finish reading the book right. So you have to add this 12 days and 9 days. So she started reading the book on 20th March and she finished reading the book on 9th April. So the number of days from 20th March to 31st March is equal to 12 days and the number of days from 1st April to 9th April is equal to 9 days. So the total time is equal to 12 days plus 9 days which is equal to 21 days. So Humera took 21 days to finish reading the book. So I hope this example is clear to you. Now we'll see one more question. The rehearsal for a show went on for 20 days and the last day of the rehearsal was on 22nd July. When was the rehearsal started? So what is given in the question? The duration of the rehearsal is given and the rehearsal lasted for how many days? 20 days. And when did the rehearsal end? 
the rehearsal ended on the 22nd of July. So we are asked to find out the starting day of the rehearsal. So it ended on 22nd of July and it lasted for 20 days which means it started 20 days back from 22nd of July. So it is said that the rehearsal ended on the 22nd of July. So there was rehearsal on that day also. So in the question it is mentioned that the rehearsal lasted for 20 days in total. So the last day the 22nd of July is the 20th day of the rehearsal. So how do we find out on which day it started? You have to subtract 19 days from this 22nd of July. So we have excluded the 20th day and hence the rehearsal started 19 days before the 22nd of July. So let's see the steps. The finishing date of the rehearsal is the 22nd of July from the question. Now the total duration of rehearsal is equal to 20 days. Now the starting date is equal to 22nd July minus 19 days and that will give you the date it is 3rd July. 19 days before 22nd of July is the date 3rd July. So the rehearsal started on the 3rd of July. It lasted for 20 days and the 20th day was 22nd of July. So children, I hope this question was clear to you. Now you can go through these topics through pages 171 and 172. Then you have to complete the rest of the questions from exercise 11.3 that is from question number 4 to question number 12. And in page number 174, you can see the value education question and there is a box called enrich yourself and there is a question under the heading hearts and also there is an activity under the heading my project. So you go through all these and do accordingly. So children that's all for today. I hope all the concepts we learned today are clear to you. We'll meet in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.